people who ride ridiculously loud motorcycles around residential areas after midnight. Why? We live on a dead-end street. My neighbor had a large motorcycle that was loud. He has since sold it. He always drove past us and to the end of the street at an idle speed only hitting the throttle to keep it going. Likewise he has an old, loud truck which he drives the same way. He is a stand-up neighbor. ITT. People who don't do that. Same for those who have diesel trucks who enjoy hearing their engine rumble for 30 minutes to 2 hours. At any given time of the day or after midnight. We fucking get it. Your ride is loud. To quote Shania Twain. That don't impress me much. You are the only one who likes it. No one is impressed. You're not gonna get any real answers from people that actually do this. I don't see any other actual motorcycle owner in this thread with a modified exhaust so I'll answer. Below. We live in an area that gets a lot of snowfall. We bought a house on a four-way stop and grumbled about the motorcycles that roar after stopping. Then winter came and we breathed a sigh of relief only to discover that now they buzz there. Snowmobiles right next to our yard at 3 a.m. They're too ashamed to use vibrators in public. This question can be extended to people with cars that have loud tailpipes or people who bump their music. South Park did it. Because my penis is very small. Because it has never occurred to them that other people exist and might be sleeping. They just want to hear their engines roar. That certainly explains the asshole street racing on my street on a regular basis. Fuckers. I have a loud super sport motorcycle that has a racing exhaust on it. I ride to save gas money. My car gets about 17 mpg and my bike gets about 50 mpg and I can park it almost anywhere on the campus of my university. I also worked as a bartender and manager late into the night. Sometimes I'm at the library until well after midnight trying to get stuff done. Or I'll be working on homework at home and run to the store quickly. I try to ride it at a higher gear to keep the noise to a minimum. I don't like being disruptive at night especially with how loud it can get. There are ways to ride that are less disruptive but unfortunately there's only so much you can do. However I would rather have a very loud bike so that if you cannot see me coming at least you should know I'm close. My mother hates that I ride but she keeps asking me if I can make it louder so it warns others that I am there. My girlfriend likes it because she feels safer on a loud bike. I don't know if any studies that prove or disprove of a louder bike being safer so I can't say. Loud pipes save lives. During the day I will ride loud because there are many bad drivers that don't pay attention to their surroundings. This summer will be the 13th year of riding for me and almost every time I ride somebody gets close to hitting me. Usually if I rev the engine aggressively people will swerve and pick their heads up. I'd rather get a middle finger than life in a wheelchair. No offense to anyone in a wheelchair. I shattered both my tibia and fibula once and spent six months in a wheelchair and if I can avoid doing it again I will. Same as why people think it's okay that their dogs bark all day, they don't care about anyone else. Why do you need to circle around the estates for three hours waking up all the kids and elderly people? Why not just go straight to your destination? I am seeking attention and hope that the vibration of my loud muffle enhances my manhood to a seeable size for all to stare in awe. I once saw a documentary about people who were in relationships with their vehicles. Now, when I hear people revving 
I wonder how much they love their car, bike, etc. It's creepy. I wish I'd never seen it. I ride a loud motorcycle. But I'd never fly around that late and I always pull in my clutch when passing by cyclists and joggers in the road. Cause it's really loud. Some people are just obnoxious not matter where or how. Wow. A ton of comments just about dick size. I ride a small scooter and it's a pretty loud and whiny but I'm poor it's all I can afford to drive. I also have a dead-end job and have to get up really early and come home pretty late. I feel bad a lot of days but I don't have a lot of options ATM. I hope op is describing people deliberately circling the block or something but for some it's all we have. I'm really sorry if it ruins your sleep but I'm just trying, working my best I know it's probably not a solution but earplugs or calling the cops might do something. Again I'm sorry we're loud. Because I still have to get to my night shift job but my car has a busted coil and my bike has a busted muffler. Because they're cunts. I hope this gets some attention because it's a serious answer. 1. I work for a suicide hotline and I don't work regular hours because people don't commit suicide. From 9 to 5.2. I don't have enough money for a car. My motorcycle cost $5,000 and uses less gas. Plus I don't have to pay for parking. Point 3. Loud pipes save lives. You're less likely to be hit by a distracted driver if your motorcycle is loud. 4. I live here and I need to get home. I try to cut the engine going downhill. But that's not always possible. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.